There is essentially just one trick I use when riding tall bikes, and that's one foot down. Here's how to apply it. When starting and stopping, you're gonna put one foot down, ideally the left so that your right foot could be on the brake, but I've definitely switched back and forth depending on the terrain, or because I just forget sometimes. And if the bike's extra tall for you, you may just need a little butt scooch. When you're mounting and dismounting, sometimes, especially if you have a tail bag on the back, you may need to help clear it by mounting on the foot peg first. The way MSF teaches to mount a dirt bike is by actually putting the kickstand up first and then mounting. And then when you're dismounting, actually putting your feet down first before putting the kickstand down. I imagine this is probably because putting all your weight on a kickstand out on some muddy trails could leave you to sink. You don't need to lower a bike and ruin its geometry or skimp on the thickness of the seat. The next Honda dirt bike smaller than this 230 that I can flat foot is a 125, which is literally designed for a child. So it's uncomfortable on my back for longer periods of time. If you don't want to be limited on the terrain you can ride and the bikes you can ride, you just need five minutes to practice these tips. Once you've mastered this, it'll be so easy to translate this to other bikes like street, adventure, and even baggers, which you can see in this playlist over here. See you in the next one.